Hi everyone, it's Albert. Today let's solve the contest median question, closest dessert cost. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be constantly solving good and classic legal questions with clear explanation, animation, and visualization. Now let's look at the question. In this question, we would like to make a dessert and are preparing to buy the ingredients. We have N ice cream base flavors and M types of toppings to choose from. And we have to follow uh, this rule when making the dessert. The first rule is there must be exactly one ice cream base. And we can add one or more types of toppings or have uh, no toppings at all. But there can be at most uh, two of each type of toppings. We are given three inputs. Base cost array is an integer array of length n, where each item represents the price of the ice cream base flavor. And topping cost array, uh, each item represents the price of one of the i topping. And target is an integer represents the target price of our dessert. And we want to make a dessert with the total cost as close to target as possible. So we have to return the closest possible cost of the dessert to target. And if there are multiple ones, we have to return the lower one. In example one, the base cost array is 1.7 and topping cost is 3.4 and target is 10. So the optimal cost we can get is uh, choose base one, which will cost seven and then take one of topping zero and it will cost three. We won't take topping one at all. So the total cost will be seven plus three plus zero, which is 10, which is exactly target. And example two, with a given uh, base cost and topping cost target, we can consider the following combination. We can choose base one, uh, which will cost three, and then take one of topping zero, two of topping one, and the total optimal cost will be 17, which is the closest uh, cost we can get to target. For example, three and four, the optimal total cost we can get is eight and 10. And the data constraint of this question is actually a big hint that the size of uh, base cost and topping cost won't be bigger than 10. So for such a small data size, we can just use a brute force DFS uh, recursion to solve this question, which is the same algorithm that we use in, in solving last week's problem. And the main idea is to try uh, every possible combinations of base and topping, and then we will update the total cost closest to target. Now let's look at the code. Okay, and first we will create a class variable rest, and it can be initialized to positive infinity. And then for every cost in the base cost array, we will run a DFS function. And the DFS function won't return anything. And the base condition for the DFS function is when the absolute difference between target and the current sum total is smaller than the difference between rest and target, then we will update total to rest. And if total is bigger than target, we will just return from the recursive function. And next is the DFS problem. We'll go through every cost in the topping cost array, and then try every possible combinations of the topping, and then return rest at the end. Now let's see the code in action. Okay, and here we'll be looking at example two. The base cost array is two and three, and topping cost is four, five, and 100. So starting from the first cost in the base cost array, we can try uh, don't pick topping zero at all. And then a DFS subproblem will be the remaining subarray in topping cost, which is subarray five and 100. But we also have different uh, options that we can choose one of topping zero or choose two. And when trying these different combinations, 
rest will be updated accordingly. And next, we can try the other base and again try 0, 1, or 2 of topping 0 and then re recurse into the DFS subproblem. So, following this idea, this process, the optimal solution will be choosing base 1 and then 1 of topping 0, 2 of topping 1. And the optimal cost we can get closest to target 18 is 17. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. Because of the small data size of the input array of this question, we are able to use a brute force DFS to solve it. And the main intuition is to try every possible combinations of base and topping cost array, and then update the total cost closest to target. And the time complexity of this approach is big O of m times 3 to the power of n. And 3 is because we have 3 options of choosing toppings. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.